Lisa Smith is a ninth generation San Franciscan. And she says that there's only one thing better than dining with family and friends, and that is talking about it. She loves to talk about her special haunt in Campbell, serving Austrian cuisine at Naschmacht. My name is Matthias Fuschel, and with my wife Margot and uh, Umberto Ramirez, we own uh, Naschmacht restaurant together. It's a family business. The Naschmacht is uh, the largest open air green market in the center of Vienna. I grew up in Austria. I lived in Vienna for a long time. Austria is uh, known for its schnitzels. Schnitzel is always uh, pounded meat, and then there's like a hundred different ways how to prepare a schnitzel. Some dishes are very traditional. You don't really change those, like a Wiener schnitzel. Other dishes, we try to lighten it up a little bit with the Californian ingredients. Every Sunday, there's a big farmer's market in downtown Campbell. We try to get as much as we can for the restaurant. The wine list is mainly taken care of by Umberto, my partner, and uh, my wife also. Austria makes some very nice uh, white wines, like a Gunner Medlina, but we also have some really good red wines, like a Blaufränkischer, like a Zweigelt, which go really, really well with Austrian food. A lot of our regulars here are actually locals from Campbell. That's our main clientele, but we also have people coming from all over the place, like Petaluma, Santa Rosa, coming down to enjoy a nice schnitzel over here. Too many Austrian places around, are there? Lisa? No, there no. aren't. And do you speak German? Is this... not at all? <laughs> okay. So wh what do you love there? Uh, everything. So I love when you walk into the restaurant. Everybody's friendly, and the service is great. And it's small and quaint, and it's two blocks from my house, and I could just walk over there and go out to a really nice restaurant where I feel like I'm actually in the city and I'm home. They, they have a beautiful where? wine list, and that means you can drink a couple of glasses of wine and walk home, <laughs> right? Just a little. It's <laughs> perfect! <laughs> and so, what is the dish that you can't live without? Uh, there's a few. I just found the Jaeger um, schnitzel. Schnitzel. Yeah. Unbelievable. Normally I get the Wiener schnitzel. Right. That was my favorite before, so I would always get that before. It is to die. Are you a it's pork or a Wiener guy? You know, I have to say I was probably more of a Wiener guy, but after mm -hmm. having the pork, the Jaeger schnitzel there, it was incredible. It, I mean, it literally, it felt like you were eating like Thanksgiving dinner. It, I, because there was like a mushroom like, cream sauce yeah. that went with it, which kind of felt like the gravy a little bit. Right. The dumpling actually seemed like stuffing. I mean, it was, wow. Mm. You look very pensive over here. I'm well, Le Leslie, I was, I was a little hesitant to go because I'd been in Austria before and I always had heavy meals. And uh, this was an incredible experience. Uh, the Jaeger schnitzel uh, is what I ordered. They said it was their signature dish. Right. It was absolutely wonderful. Uh, I, I couldn't have been more pleased. And my wife ordered the salmon. It was incredible. That's what my it, husband ordered, and he but, kind of freaked out because it was golden, crispy on the outside, and super tender and flaky on the inside. But then it had on top of it an olive tempanon. Yeah. Was Which doesn't come across no. as kind of Austrian cuisine, right? No, I think you have to understand one of the owners is uh, used to have an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. And so I think they've married married a little bit and of course you have to have the uh, spatzel mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, which uh, yeah. and a collective sigh everyone uh, oh. yeah. this was spatzel. wonderful so good. Uh, yeah what made it so good for for you all I, I think the chicken the chicken mm -hmm. was like a really good texture a lot of flavor you could taste the butter but it, no, nothing was too overpowering everything kind of went nicely together um, the creamy yeah. oh, and so I mean you're just sitting there and you're like oh and if you just want to get a little side of it whenever you go there, because oh. you don't want to order the whole That's thing, a good idea. you can just okay. get a side of the plain special. What's I love. It's so good. Yeah. Well, I'm an Italian guy, and so when I look at spatzel, it's got to be light and fluffy and yet have flavor, and it had all those things. It was really wonderful. The other thing was the service there. Oh. Service was wow. very, very good, and the owner came over at least three times, just to say, how are we doing? That's true. Well, and I, was, I would actually really echo on the service side of things. I went with my girlfriend, and every single dish that we had, they split it for us because we both said that we wanted to try everything. So instead of sitting there and having to go back and forth between the same plate, they would bring out a plate for each of us. Did anyone the try meals. the soup? I need to, no. try I need to really tell you. If you go there and try the soup, you will just 
I swear to God, I've never had and a soup. And what's your what favorite kind of soup? soup? Which, all, uh, every, all every single one I've had. I've had the sunchoke. I've had the cauliflower. I've had the, um, I think it was an asparagus at one point. They change every day. Did it's anybody try the scallops? Mm -hmm. I, I usually get scallops just about any time it's on the menu. But I have to say, like, the purple puree. Uh, I mean, you just no, want to keep not. dipping. And eventually, you get even when you're done with your scallop, you start to, like, kind of mm. put a little bit on your finger. And I actually grabbed some of the bread that was still sitting at the table. <laughs> and the guy kept trying. He's like, are you done with this? I'm like, do you still see purple? No. <laughs> Go away. The scallops were wonderful, and that puree was incredible. I, I, it's I just was shocked. You usually get a, you find at most places too. It's, Cauliflower it's definitely puree purple and made it stand out. And we have a, a, a terrific wine list. Small, wines. not not big, mm -hmm. but um, they certainly showcase Grüner Veltliner, which is Austria's signature white grape variety. Uh, they have Blaufrankisch. They have all sorts of they terrific have great wines, wine. and you can get great wines by the glass. You can order a bottle and sit outside on the patio. Well, one of the nice things too about the wine is they're actually very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. um, so my girlfriend had a hard time of choosing which ones, and so they came out. They poured her a few different options. She got to taste. Isn't then that nice? That's the one. I love when restaurants <laughs> do that. Me too. But you couldn't. Um, leave off dessert at this restaurant. Uh, <laughs> yes, I had the strudel. Uh, we also had the crepes, oh, how, how which were Ooh. outrageous. Oh, gosh, uh, my uh, granddaughter ordered those, and she started to taste them. I said, well, here, let me have a bite. I, got, I have to taste everything. <laughs> she <laughs> refused. Uh, uh, her, father, her father had to wrestle them from her. They were fabulous. Light Very. and uh, tasty. Uh, I didn't have the crepes. I had the strudel. You kind of feel like you're... You sort of have to, yeah, right? Sort of yeah. have to, it's, right. A, it's an obligation. Um, <laughs> No, but the strudel, like, you know, you literally wanted to make sure that you had a bite of ice cream with the strudel because yeah. right. it perfectly paired together. Oh, yeah, it was very absolutely. nice. Absolutely. All right, Lisa, this is your spot. Give us a summary. Take the night off and just come downtown. Make a reservation because it's a very small place and plan to enjoy the evening and try a bunch of different things on the menu. All right, Paul. I live in San Francisco, but if I'm ever in the South Bay, I'd be glad to go back. Okay. We'll yeah. go down to visit our son who lives uh, within 10 minutes, and that will be one of our destinations. All right. If you would like to try Nashmarkt, it's on East Campbell Avenue in Old Town Campbell. The telephone number is 408-378-0335. It's open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday, closed on Monday. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $45.